Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mattia. I'm a professional time lapse and a hyperlapse photographer living in Madrid. And today I want to share my top 10 time lapse slash photo location around this incredible city. Let's go! Hey what's going on? So today it's three years that my wife and I moved to Madrid. I can't believe that it's already been three years. Man, times go fast. And since then, I shot so many time lapse around the city and its surrounding, as you can tell. And I definitely need to thank all my photographer friends that I met who showed me most of this location. Having local photographers show you around, it's definitely the best way to know a new place. Because before coming to Madrid, I didn't know much about it. I visited a couple of times before, but I always remained the city center. And I have to be honest here, I didn't think there was too much to see. But man, I was wrong. This city is incredible. There are so many beautiful buildings, parks, eaten gems. And don't let me start it about the outside of the city. So many beautiful places to see. Mountain range, waterfall, rock formation, lakes, and all between only one hour distance from the city. And when I started to get aware of all these locations, I fell in love with Madrid. Okay, sorry, I got too excited and talking too much. So let me show you the top 10 locations that I can't get enough of. Five are in the city center and five outside. And if you stay until the end, I'll give you an extra one. First of all, Callao Square. This is the Piccadilly Circus or the Times Square of Madrid. Giant screen everywhere, open space, beautiful buildings. You can get some great time lapse here of people in the main square, traffic in, uh, in the Gran Via. But my favorite spot is definitely from the top floor of the Corte Inglés shopping center. And at the top, there is a fantastic view of Cajao. And the best thing is that it's free. So just pop in and enjoy the view while you are eating at one of the restaurants. And the second time I went there, Javier and I arrived three hours before the sunset, just to be sure to get the perfect table with the perfect view of the square. Sometimes can get pretty busy. Second one, it's a Crystal Palace. This gem is hidden in the middle of Retiro Park. This is amazing old greenhouse built in, in uh, I think it's 1887 and uh, in front of the building there is a small pond, a fountain and the best spot for me to shoot is from the opposite side of the lake at sunset. Super cool view. Third one, Almudena Cathedral. There are so many different places to shoot from but my favorite is the iconic shot from the small park beside the road which is amazing and sunset, that's the sunset right behind it and uh, if there are some clouds, we will light up the sky. Fourth one is uh, the Cerro del Tio Pio, or also known as Siete Teta Parks, or Seven Tits Park, <laughs> because of the obvious shapes of the hills. And uh, this uh, location is situated in the southeast of the city, in a residential area called Vallecas. The view from here is spectacular. You can see all the city central skyline and the north skyline with the iconic uh, four towers, the Pirulin and the background the Sierra. This is, is a great spot for sunset, especially on a warm day of summer. And the fifth one in the city is the Metropolis. This is an iconic building of Madrid. I shot here so many times, it is so photogenic. My favorite spot to shoot is from the other side of the street, just beside the fence, before the bus stop. I love to shoot here at sunset or at night, with traffic moving in front of the building and looking straight to the Gran Via. Now for my best 5 spots outside of the city. First one, La Pedrisa. Oof. This place is such a beauty. It's about uh, 30 minutes uh, from Madrid, full of huge granite rocks. You can easily get lost here. I don't have a favorite spot here yet, but for now I really like the location I went last month shooting the fog. You can check it out if you want up here. The second one is Paraguayos. If you want to see the complete city skyline at sunset, this is the place. To make it more dynamic, you can even include in the shot the Terminal 4 of Baracas Airport. On the time last, we will get the sun moving, the city lights turning on, and a lot of motion of the planes going around the terminal. Pretty sick view. And uh, the third one is Pinto. You will need a zoom lens here because it's quite far away, but this place has a beautiful shot to offer. Uh, on the same line on side, you can see the giant statue of Getafe, the four towers, now five, and the Sierra Mountain range in the background. Gorgeous. Fourth one is uh, Torrodones, and man, this place is insane. You are high up at uh, almost 900 meters with uh, an incredible view of the four towers sticking up from the city. 
and I love coming here for sunrise or to get iconic photo of the full moon rising behind the towers. It is also amazing during winter when the fog is low and you can only see the top of the towers. And the fifth one and last one, El Escorial. This is a, an old monastery around 40 minutes from Madrid and there are so many spots to shoot from but my favorite place to time lapse so far is from the Angel Nieto Mirador. I was there last month to time lapse the fog and it was truly amazing. I'll leave the video up here so you can check it out. So these are my top 10 locations around Madrid and if you make it this far, first of all, thank you. And second of all, here are the extra one. Brihuega Lavander Fields. Okay, well, technically it's not Madrid, it's uh, Guadalajara, but it's only one hour from Madrid and I really want to share with you because when I saw it for the first time in 2018, I was shocked. It's a huge and spectacular lavender field. And the best part, you can even see the Milky Way very clear during the night, which makes a dream spot for Astro Time Labs. I will leave my vlog that I made uh, up here in Bruega. And that's it, of course there are tons of more locations to see around Madrid. And in the last three years, I saved all the best ones in a, a big map, this map. So if you would like to check it out, uh, you can find it down below in the description. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make you want to visit and explore this incredible city. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao ciao!